Welcome back to the Beautiful Beautiful Twin Twin Sisters Sisters Podcast, Podcast. episode two. Oh, my. Beautiful Twin Sisters. seeing clearly we are twinning again the matching shirts was not just an episode one thing no we're keeping it going it's an episode everything thing so if you're watching via youtube or via video then you're gonna see that we're wearing matching little red shirts with a little bows on it period and they're cute and first order of business is we need to rock paper scissors to see who's going to sit on their good side aka the left the left side this side bro I thought we were going to forget about this after last episode. No, absolutely not. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. No! Oh! Amber freaking beat me. That's what now I I'm thought. Now I'm looking uggo two podcasts in a row. This is so messed up. There has to be a more beautiful twin sister. That's just how it is. And she's right here. Okay. I'm pointing at myself. Mm-hmm, if, mm-hmm. You're wondering, if you are listening to just the audio, I did scissors. Ashley did paper. Yeah. Get pwned. We have a very exciting topic today. I know you're so ready to get into this sitting on your bad side. But yep, you, I'm ready. What are we talking about today? Oh my god! <laughs> today we're talking about what? <laughs> what it's like living with each other as sisters. This is something that everybody's been asking us because I think it's kind of uncommon to live with your sibling. Yeah, like no one lives with their siblings like ever. In their Nobody life. <laughs> ever in their life lives with their siblings. Yeah, but like it's crazy though because I feel like obviously growing up you have to live with yeah. your siblings against your will, but we are choosing. To move in together. Just the two of us. There is no, like... Our mommy and daddy are not forcing us. We did this on our own accord. It's crazy. And that's that. So... And don't get it twisted. And do not get it twisted. Yeah, people are asking us every day, like... So are you guys fighting every day? Who's the messier sister? Are you scratching each other with your nails? Are you pulling each other's hair out? So we're going to get into that today. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, before we get into the nitty gritty of what it's been like, we wanted to give some context about how we ended up here. Ashley, you've obviously lived in New York City longer than yes. me. You want to go Just into like that? Just like how I ended up in the city of New York? Yeah, you've lived here sure. for two more years. Why not? Let's get into it. Yeah. So basically, as you guys know, both Amber and I are from upstate New York, um, a few hours north of New York City. And growing up, We went to, like, New York here and there. I would come sometimes for field trips, like, for my history class or my art class. They would always have us come down, go to, like, Chelsea, go to the Chelsea galleries and things like that. Um, And other than that, maybe we'd go with our family, like, once a year. But max two times a year, that's it. Most years, like, not even going at all. And when we would go to New York City, it would be the most hectic experience, like, of your entire life. It was crazy, especially like coming from the suburbs. New York City is such a bustling city, just like generally out of anywhere in the whole world. And just to come down to New York, you're like, oh, my God, you come to Times Square. So many people. Now that I live in New York, I will never go to Times Square. You will never catch us there. You will never catch me in Times Square uh, unless I'm like there for the lols. lols. Yeah, Yeah, literally for the lols or like a Broadway show or like something like it's cute to go every once in a while. But like rarely because it's so busy so much traffic so many people and if you're someone that's visited new york city once then you probably have this idea of new york city where it's like mega busy and it's actually not in other areas um so i feel like kind of during college after college i would come down to new york here and there with like friends and i kind of realized hey there's more to new york city than times square Times square yeah there's areas of lower manhattan that are super cute like soho i love little italy i love Mm -hmm. chinatown i love and they're just like more calm uh definitely still bustling in a certain way but in a way that like makes you feel kind of safe because there's so many people around and not in a way where it's like mass of people and like chaos yeah you know what i mean elmo costumes people chasing you down with cds yeah not all of new york is like that butts out wearing cowboy costumes even if it's like 20 degrees out Mm -hmm. um yeah there was a side of new york city that had like cutie cafes and like nice cobblestone streets that we hadn't really seen because Mm -hmm. every time our family brought us they were like booking our hotels in times square or like k-town always always k-town which makes sense because our mom was like Honestly, wanting to eat that Korean food, it's, like, probably as legit as you can get it, like, in the U.S. in, like, 
K-Town, probably better in Los Angeles K-Town, I'm not going to lie. But in like yeah. New York K-Town, it's like the closest one for us. K-Town itself is also really busy. I feel like I know that singular street, like the back so of my well. hand, because it's literally like one avenue, like that's just K-Town. Like K-Town's like not like Chinatown, where Chinatown is like a huge area. K-Town is like one street and we would only go there every single time. And that's also more in like Midtown area. So it's kind of near Times Square as well. And it's a little bit crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, but eventually, <laughs> yeah, after our like childhood of just visiting every once in a while and seeing the craziness, I feel like once you get older and you start visiting with your friends, you like find the areas that you like. And then the idea exactly. of living here becomes more realistic because our whole lives, it both does. of us said like, we will never live in New York never, City. Never, ever, ever, never. But then that changed <laughs> for you two or three years ago. Yes. So basically, post-college, I feel like did not know what was going on with my life. I feel like I've talked about this a lot, but kind of like in the April of 2021, that's when I graduated, was like April, May. Mm -hmm. And in like a span of like three weeks, I... Graduated from college, and I also hit a million subscribers on YouTube. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But at the same time, I was like, wow, every milestone in my entire life is now gone. Like, literally, I'm like, check the box. I'm done. What do I do now? Mm -hmm. And, like, my sort of, like, purpose going forward is, like... I just didn't know what it was. So I feel like that summer I was kind of like, oh my God, like, what do I do? I was living by myself in an apartment in my college town, and... Let me tell you, it was in the most random location in the entire world. Yeah. Like, it was a cute building, but it was definitely, like, the singular, like, gentrified building in the area. Yeah. Because for, like, the mile around it, like, every other building had, like, the X on it where it's, like, if it burns down, like, you don't you even save it. it. You just, like, let it burn. And, like, also next to it was just a ton of industrial buildings, tractors, pipes, gravel mounds that are like 50 feet tall just all surrounding it. and it was also so noisy when I lived there because the tractors would be like yeah the whole time but so it was not like the ideal place to be living yeah it wasn't course. my ideal place to be living but I've always liked to live near our home because I feel like family is so important. family is very important to me I love my family I love hanging out with them I also think like my parents are my best friends. So I feel like I really love like going to the gym with my dad and just like hanging out with my mom and going shopping and getting groceries and things like that. And it was really hard for me to be like, even thinking about like moving out of that area because I really like hanging out with my parents. I think I also worry about my parents yeah. and like worry about my siblings and things like that. So oldest sibling. Things. Yeah. Oldest sibling things. Wait. Um, even no, if it's like, we what? are sh equally oldest siblings. I take that back. Older siblings. Things. I'm, no, her because we are beautiful twins. But we're both older siblings to Andrew. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Then I, I redact my <laughs> taking it back. I realized what is going on here for me in this little town. I felt like I either needed to move to California. That was pretty much like my first choice. Choice, I think, at the time was I thought I was going to move to like Orange County to be around Amber. Yeah. And eventually Andrew, if he was also going to go to college there. And I was like, it's going to be warm. YouTube things. <laughs> I feel like every YouTuber at the time had like been living in LA. Um, and I had actually never even been to LA. I've only been to Orange County at that time. And I was like, yeah, this is going to be lit. I'm going to live out my YouTube dreams. And then that summer, you got reached out to, to be in a freaking I got content reached house. out to be into a content house. And I also want to preface this by saying that previous summer, like months before, I had also gotten out of a very long-term relationship where I literally was like, my life is just like got flipped over. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, complete so 180. I'm kind of like, wow, what is out there in the world for me? I'm an independent boss. Let me do something crazy because I'm in my 20s. And I ended up moving to New York City to be part of a content house. And that's really like why I feel like I moved to New York. I still feel like I was a little actually hesitant to move to New York. Yeah. But because I was in a way like guaranteed like a set of friends and like fun True. and excitement, I was like, okay, let's do New York. I'm going to give it a shot. It's only a few hours like away from home. The move was really easy. And that is essentially how I ended up living in New York. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so you lived in that content house for a year. Yes. Then another house for another year, which was just like a friend house, which was yeah. so fun. In a way, it was a content house because like everyone was kind of a creator. 
but it wasn't like but like you we were... also rotated through so many roommates that were also not creators and like it was just like yeah it was more of a friend house yeah for just sure. normal house mm-hmm. that, that was, was so like fun. Ugh, i love that house i miss that house so much our last house um Felt you like guys know it yeah that was like a home it wasn't set up like an apartment building like we didn't have a doorman or anything it was like literally in like a brownstone building and we were on the bottom floor so it was like a five bedroom apartment uh you guys if you have watched my videos and you know my boyfriend also lived in the apartment he had his own room our friend Issa had her own room Luke lived in Luke lived in the basement yeah <laughs> with no windows in the dungeon with no windows Crazy. um was that even allowed I don't know and then we also just had like so many people like rotate in like not necessarily like sublet but just like so many people like stayed with us for periods of time yeah. like Doha stayed in Luke's room and Luke was out for a while mm-hmm. um I feel like some of our best friends like are literally from living in the house I feel like I could say names that you guys won't know because they weren't really on my YouTube channel but like our friends Nick and Michaela yeah love them love them Allison and Kyle love them and they're yeah. like some of like my best friends now that came out of living in that house um and it's just epic. Yeah. It's been great. So that was your first two years living in New York City. And I feel like um, before, for me personally, I really was adamant about never wanting to live in New York City until I came to visit Ashley in the two years that she was living by herself or living here. Yeah. Um, and she showed me around to like cafes and her favorite restaurants. And I like literally saw a side of New York that I've never seen where I was like, oh, and like this like, is livable. Different. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this is a place where you could like actually live. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, and so by the time I was a senior in college, which was like one year ago, exactly. Um, I had kind of the seed was planted in my mind where I was like, oh my God, like I could move to New York after college. But it seemed like the craziest thought to me because I went to college in Southern California, which obviously to get to college, I had to do a cross country move. Mm -hmm. So when I, when I moved there initially, I was like, I am staying on the West coast, like forever. Yeah. (laughs) Indefinitely. (laughs) I'm like planting my roots on the West coast. And the plan was to go to college in Orange County, graduate, move to LA and work there. That was always the plan. But then because you were a film major as well. And that's like the expected route (laughs) exactly exactly but then um as like graduation kept like creeping nearer I realized like oh my god I actually really don't like LA LA is like controversial opinion I don't actually know if this is a controversial opinion but when I am in Los Angeles it feels a thousand times scarier than New York City I know that you guys I don't know if you visited neither you would maybe think New York City is more scary I feel like maybe there is slightly more news around it and there's just like more people and you think oh like with people there's like mass confusion whatever da, mm-hmm. da, 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 da. no when you're in los angeles it is it's scary. like eerily scary people act way weirder there yeah i am not gonna lie and it's like just gives the vibes more sketchy off. vibes yeah the vibes are like literally off whereas new york like the lights are always on there's like bright lights literally everywhere you can always see no matter what time of day it is there's usually always other people on the street Mm -hmm. and i feel like there's a sense of like new york city community where like people will help each other meanwhile in la like people are freaky and also (laughs) even just like the quality of life living there like being in traffic for an hour to go like two miles away i'm like oh yeah the traffic is insane yeah and i just kind of realized like i don't think the only thing that was there for me in LA that I would care about was like my friends who would be moving there. But I was like, I literally can't live the rest of my life or like however long in a place that I like really am not inspired by. I don't yeah. like, freaks me out. Um, I know Kelly always says like, cause my boyfriend Kelly lived in, I think East Hollywood. Yeah. Which is sus. <laughs> yeah, it was like kind of a sus area. Um, but he said that he lived there and he said the biggest things for him that makes him love New York city now is for one, not having like friends be spread out around LA because mm-hmm. even if your friends like live in LA, they might live like still 40 minutes away from you because LA is like humongous. And also New York having seasons kind of brings a different energy, especially into filming or into like your daily life where when you're in LA, you could have the exact same routine every, every single, single day. day. Yeah. Every single day. Yeah. So. That is so real. It's mm-hmm. like the perks of living in LA, like there's you nice weather. Lighting, yeah. Yeah, but that's kind of it. So the entirety of my senior year, I was kind of realizing more and more each month, like, oh my God, I can't move to LA. Like I, as hard as it's going to be, like I need to move back to the East Coast to New York City because I think the idea of like, I don't know, because I realized I've, I wanted to pursue um, YouTube full time and I was like, there's not much to do in LA that would be like inspiring me to work more. Whereas like in New York City, like, I could be living with Ashley who like 
inspires me. And and we film together because we are more comfortable filming exactly. together. Like the podcast comes out of this and like yeah. more videos come out of it. Yeah. Just because we're besties. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like way more fruitful for us to be together because yeah. like we both uplift each other and like filming is just so much more fun together. Yeah. And, and New York is just the place to be. I feel like exactly. New York is really like there has been low-key a mass influx of influencers I feel like and like TikTokers that have come to New York City which is a little bit crazy but I think it's more fun than LA like yeah. no like LA has a certain vibe even we recently went to a party and I, and like I haven't really been actually I've never been to an LA party but my friends that have been to LA parties were like oh this party is like giving so LA and like by that they literally mean like the vibes are just so Off. bad yeah it's <laughs> like literally- the vibes are like everyone's like pretentious like mm. yeah like who do you know? Like, uh, how do you know? Da, da, da. No. Oh, real. well, I do this. And I'm like, can't you all like be goofy or like have a personality? Like right? it's so annoying, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Just seeing Ashley live here. And like, obviously every single time I visit her, like finding more and more things I love about New York, I realized like, I really want to live in New York, yeah. which was really scary. Obviously having to move all the way back across the country, but I felt that it was really necessary. So, um, pretty much like halfway through my senior year, I was like, committed i was like ashley i'm moving yeah if you want to live together that would be so fun like if not uh yeah. i will somehow figure something out i like we've known that you were gonna live in new york since probably like this summer it wasn't like oh like i just graduated da, 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 da. it now was like it's... even like midway through your senior yeah. year like since january you probably knew that you yeah. were gonna come to new york i after. think it was like winter break last year i was like i am moving here so we've known for like a full year i had my whole spring semester of college to like figure out my life plan and so over the summer, Ashley and I had to start apartment hunting because we yes. kind of realized like um, as fun as her last house was, and I know like pretty much everyone like probably would have lived there again. Yeah. It was like. It's a little still, hectic to yeah. have so many people in one house at one time. But when we were moving out, I was like literally like on the verge of tears. Like I was so sad because I like yeah. loved living with so many people and it was so fun to like have everyone in the house. And at that point that we were moving, we were actually like all such good friends that we were yeah. like, wait, this is so sad to move out. Mm-hmm. I know that was tough for everybody to move out of that house because everybody really did love that house. Mm-hmm. But um, it felt like everyone was also kind of on the same page where it's like we all want to get our own like cutie apartments that have like nicer lighting for filming. We were straight up living in a frat house. Yeah. Like, that looked- was the vibe. That was the look. It was, like, dark as hell in there. So dark. You couldn't really film. It wasn't, like... And, like, when everyone's job is, like, YouTube, it's, like, that kind of matters, like, as... The lighting matters a lot. So Um, I really wanted a place with good lighting. And so did everyone else living there. So we all got our own apartments with good windows. Yeah, like, actually, that's what everyone did after the house is everyone got a house that has, like, windows that actually let light into the building. Yeah. And Um, now we get to visit all of our friends' different apartments and see how they furnish it, and it's a lot more fun that way, too. Yeah, it's cute. And now we kind of go out of our way more to, like, plan dinners and, like, do things intentionally. Yeah. Yeah. But so what's interesting is that when me and Ashley were house hunting, obviously, when you're trying to find an apartment with your sister, there's a lot of checks that need to be checked and (laughs) some of the things on our must-have list we got to go over them because i think that is really what's interesting it's like how did we land on this place okay i will say the i think number one thing on our must-have list was having bedrooms that were not sharing a wall yeah like they needed to be on opposite sides of the apartment in a way of like me respecting ashley's boundaries and me also protecting my peace we had to get separate yes. rooms because i didn't want ashley to get annoyed by noise and i did not want to hear her complain so it was like <laughs> as cute as some apartments were like we found some really good apartments but the bedrooms were right next to each other and i was like that sucks no, no, no. we can't get we can't get it mm-hmm. um also another thing this was not essential but like we both really wanted this mm-hmm. was an island in the kitchen yes. which we got thank yes. gosh because that i just love an island for like hosting things and Me cooking too. but also for like doing little cooking videos like it yeah. just works so much better it's mostly for videos that island is like needed so you have like a workspace for mm-hmm. like cooking videos absolutely yes um and then these are not really must-haves but obviously things that anyone wants mm-hmm. good lighting and good location yes clearly we got them floor to ceiling windows exactly. it's lit it's and lit. we are in a epic location like some parts of new york city are kind of like very corporate and you can walk for a while without seeing yeah. like a cafe but we are in that like we are in the cafes <laughs> yeah we are in the cafes yep finding this apartment was honestly so lucky because like for the price not bad compared to some of the things yeah. we were touring like not bad at 
all. Yeah. Um, yeah. Especially like when you're splitting with roommates, the price so is easier. always so much better. Yeah. Like, uh, we have some friends that like pay for single units, like single bedroom units. And studio. it's like literally the same price almost as, as our apartment, like split, like that we pay individually. Uh-huh. But it's like way shittier and I feel so bad but that's just like when you split with roommates you can get such a nicer house which is uh-huh. how we've been able to have like nice houses in the past mm-hmm. like our all of our previous houses that you guys have seen me lived in has, have always been nice because there are so many bedrooms and it was split up by so many different people like at your last house there was maybe like 10 people splitting the rent at one point I feel like yeah crazy but lot. yeah so having it split between the two of us like it's a little bit more expensive but still this apartment it's doable it was so doable I don't even know how we got it. We, we found this place, if you're wondering. We moved in um, like mid-September, mm-hmm. but we found this place on Zillow like in July, which is really early for New York City. Mm-hmm. Usually they're posting it like same week as like the move-in date. Yeah. But thank God, whoever owns this unit was like on it's top of it. not ready until later. Yeah, which I love because then we can plan ahead. And yes. we like knew for a month before we moved in that we like had the apartment and we were like, oh my God, the relief was so real. Yeah. New York City apartment hunting is actually the most stressful thing in mm-hmm. the entire world because the apartments go so quickly that you can't even really look for an apartment usually until, until a month before or even like two weeks before like you need to move, which is so nerve wracking because you feel like you're not even going to have a house. Also, like. Like, I don't understand why the landlords do that. Cause I'm like, that is not helping you either. Like, what do you mean? How, is that easier for the landlord to like post it that fast? I feel like they would want to know in advance too. Mm, I'm sure some of them do like how ours did, but I just think a lot of times it's just like goes quick like that. I don't know. I just don't get it. Yeah. So we were so lucky to land this place. Yes. I wanted to know if any of you guys listening are looking to potentially rent an apartment in New York City, there is a specific app called Street Easy that yeah. is only for New York City. And I feel like that also helps. You can look on Zillow. I actually feel like we found ours on Zillow. Ours maybe? was listed on both. So on I both. found it on both websites. Okay. But sometimes Street Easy will have ones that are not listed on Zillow. And Street Easy is, like I said, specific to New York City. And you can look for like specific neighborhoods, yada, yada. So that's kind of a hack yada, if you are yada. new to New York City. So we moved in in September. We've been living here since. It has been honestly amazing. Mm-hmm. But now the people want to know. I had um, I went to our Instagram. If you guys okay. don't follow us yet, it's at Beautiful Twin Sisters. Actually, wait, let me check that. It's no Beautiful offense. Twin Sisters Pod. No, that's that's not our. Look, it's right there. Beautiful Twin Sisters on Instagram well, is our we account. We got the freaking Beautiful Twin Sisters. How do you not remember this? Well, because we on TikTok we had to do Beautiful Twin Sisters oh, Pod. Yeah, that's annoying. But on Instagram we got the full Beautiful Twin Sisters. Wow, there you go. Mm-hmm. But I went to Instagram and I asked you guys to ask us questions about how it's been for us living together. So we're gonna get into the nitty gritty. I have screenshotted the best questions. And let's get into the freaking sibling beef. Okay. Amish Asian asked, do you guys fight like arguments? My sister and I fight all the time. We're five years apart. That is so sad for you, Amish Asian. Praying for you, girl. Praying for you. I think like... We don't really fight. Yeah. In like, this, we've never like actually had like a legitimate fight. Because like what would we fight about? In the time that we've lived here or our whole lives? Just like in our whole lives. I feel like we've had, like, some heated arguments. But, like, never, like, like an actual, like, fight, though. Where I'm, like, actually, like, mad for, like, days or something. Like, right? Like, that's never happened. Right? I feel like if that happened, I would remember. Like, I would remember what we fought about. I know, like, I've been obviously mad at you in my life. Yeah. But don't know why. definitely, like, tussled and whatnot. But that's more of, like, a little, like, sibling, like... Why did you do this? To, da, da, da. I don't yeah. know what we'd even be fighting about other than like maybe like we're talking and like something's like annoying or I feel like we could just like annoy each other. Yeah. It's like the thing that, okay, I think the one thing that really pisses me off about Ashley is literally <laughs> just how she is so sensitive to noise, yeah. which is obviously heightened by the fact that we live together. Mm-hmm. But I'm just like, I wish you would chill. But since we've lived here, I feel like it's not even bad. It hasn't even I'm been bad. I'm trying my best to Okay, not well, the thing is, Amber loves to, like, first of all, FaceTime audio is, like, somehow the loudest audio like, on planet Earth. And, like, you jack it up all the way. And, like, you're, like, rah, 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 like talking. And I can hear it from my room. And that's the only thing that I would get annoyed about. <sighs> whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, I'm just kidding. That is probably the only thing that we ever, like. And I don't need to hear your conversations. I do not need it. Oh. Yeah. You should be honored to hear them. No, I'm actually not. Okay. The one beef I have is that Amber baby talks her boyfriend. And it annoys okay, and me. you don't? And it annoys- no. I swear you. No. no like you do a little. on the same scale. Like, 
hi Kelly. I'll be like, hey Kelly. Hi. Or Kelly will call me like Ashy as a joke. That's as baby talky as it gets. I know it's kind of rough. I'm Amber, shut the fuck up. I'm I could kidding. totally expose you right now, but I'm gonna hold back because I'm mature. True. Honestly, yeah, it is kind of crazy. I don't know why. I think my whole life I've just like kind of baby talked and then I like get comfortable with my boyfriend I'm like it's so and then bad I'm like shut the fuck up well anyways yeah <laughs> 2024 gotta That's work it. on that no it's fine it's actually so hard like not to baby talk your boyfriend sometimes like once you get in the habit of it yeah it's, I just like, think it's fun no but like not for other people that's why I FaceTime in my room. Exactly. But then apparently you can still hear me. No, no, no. I'll know. only come out and be like, can you turn that off if you're like uh, in the kitchen? Yeah. I'll be like, can you turn that down? But usually I'll be like, actually turn that off. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Anyways. No um, hate to you or your relationship. I just literally am like, I cannot hear this right now. Wow. Yes. Talk about being a supportive sister. I'm That's my low. Best, but I'm just kidding. Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm just having fun. Uh, okay, that's, that's pretty like much That's actual it. beef. That's our only actual uh, beef. But I can totally see also, I like also trying to give you a lot of like space and like leeway with that because I know that like you're also living like pretty much with Kelly to some extent because he's like our upstairs neighbor and he's like always here. And I feel like it can be annoying to always like have significant others around or like make it feel like you're like third wheeling in a sense. So I try yeah. to be understanding. And you don't see me complaining. Exactly. There you go. Thank you. Exactly. Thank you for understanding. And I will try not to be mad if you're call your boyfriend baby. <laughs> Thank you I'm just much. jealous of him. Yeah. I want to be called baby. Just That's kidding. the talk you got to have with Kelly then. I'm okay. just kidding. With what? With no, I mean by you. Oh, Okay, baby. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, yeah, I guess for arguments, it is literally just about noise. I yeah. feel like if I ever get upset with Ashley, like for real, for real, it's not in a way where it's like petty sibling things. It's yeah. a way where I'm like, you're oh. my sister and I'm like concerned for you in some way or like I care about you and we need to figure this out. And what? I sometimes get annoyed if Amber is lazy and doesn't get out of bed. But I've just come to accept that we have different schedules in our lives. So no, I'll just like get up and do stuff in the morning and then we'll like reconvene later in the day and then it's fine. Yeah, I actually do need to figure that out. I literally, something, you I have a sleeping addiction. No, I don't have a sleeping addiction. <laughs> I literally just can't. I have trouble falling asleep at night. And so because of that, I fall asleep super late and then wake up late and then I'm like, oh my God, I can't get out of it. So mm. I just need to like one day take like mega melatonin fall asleep at like 9 p.m and fix it i think what you need to do is just force yourself to wake up early one day so that you're like yeah. actually tired earlier that's real i am also trying to combat that by i sleep with my windows open all the time like not open but i keep the curtains up so that i'm woken up by the sunlight and i feel like that helps my like internal clock yeah. i think that helps but it could also be damaging your quality of sleep which like makes that's you need to real sleep bro damn that's actually true as hell yeah that's true like, and also what I think is you're getting sun exposure uh, without wearing sunscreen. Oh, my God. I cannot win. Did you know that, like, um, I only did this, like, twice, but upstate in our house, I would always wake up to, like, wind, like sun shining through the window, and I would be like, oh, my God, I'm getting sun exposure in my sleep. And then I literally would go to bed and put on sunscreen before I go to bed. That's crazy. It's also dumb because I feel like it only lasts for like a few hours of like protection. Yeah, and it's gone by the yeah. time the sun comes up. So I only did that like twice. Wow. I was like so aware of getting sun exposure. Skin okay. health. Next question. Wavy Fatima says, favorite part about living together? Everything. Everything. Literally everything. Yeah, always having a bestie. I love having like not living alone. I love having like other people in the house and I like having someone that's always down to do stuff with me. I think especially like with the both of us, we can, it's not like you need to like really plan things all the time. Be like, Oh, let's do this. It's just like, we're going get to out this. of bed. We're going to go do this yeah. today. I'm like, get up. We're going to the cafe or yeah. like, you know what I mean? And right. then we always have something to do. Also, uh, in our, in our New York city scene, we do a lot of like events and stuff that we go to. And it's so nice to also have someone else that also like comes to the events with you. So yeah. that you're not alone. Uh -huh. uh, we also love to eat food. So we just eat so much food together. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel like we just have a built in like partner with everything we do throughout our day. Like we yeah. basically, I mean, you live out your whole morning, like a whole different way. Like you, got, you <laughs> do a lot of things while I'm asleep still. Yeah. Like your workout class and whatever. But by the time I wake up, 
from that point on, we're basically living our whole day together, like most days. Yeah. Almost every day, which is so much fun. Mm -hmm. And I also feel like because we're sisters, there was like no awkward phase of like figuring out how we work as roommates. Cause I was like, it's already like we know. already know. Yeah. And so we're kind of just picking up where we left off because obviously when I went to college and Ashley lived in New York city, we were apart for a while. And I feel like those years were very developmental to us. So we did change quite a bit, but somehow we still come together and pick up where it left off mm-hmm. and we're beautiful roommates. Um, but yeah, I think favorite part of living together is just like, literally we live our whole days together yeah. I always have a breakfast, lunch, and dinner buddy. Yeah. I always have a little walking to the cafe buddy. The perks are endless. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There's like no loneliness here because you always have a friend that's yeah. nearby. And no questioning like, what am I going to do today? Because if I yeah. don't know, then you know and you tell me what we're doing today. Yeah. And I feel like there's also no like, I don't know. Sometimes with your when you're with like your friend or like your boyfriend, you like... You want to spend a lot of time with them, but you also don't want to spend, like, too much time with them, I guess, if that makes sense. Right. And I feel like, for us, it just, like, doesn't even, like, matter like that. Or, like, you won't, like, overthink, like, oh, do they even want to hang out with me right now? Or, like, something. Like, it's just, like, well, obviously, we're just going to hang out. Like, I don't know. True that. Lizzie Ariano says, what about living together now reminds you most of living together back at home? That is a crazy question. That is. Are there any parallels between this apartment and our family home? Um, probably when Amber cooks food for me. True that, bro. Yes. Last night at <laughs> one in the morning, I made mashed potatoes. Those and were they so were good. Fire. And we were watching Wreck It Ralph breaks the internet, like yeah. the second Wreck It Ralph movie. And it was actually so fun because it was Kelly and Luke both came down, and we like had a movie night. Yeah. And it was fun. And everybody and ate the mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. And Luke said, "These are actually fire." And I was like, <laughs> "Yes." Like they were yes. roasted garlic mashed potatoes. No, they were so good. I could taste the. Like, wait, did you roast the garlic? I bought, like, um, pre-roasted garlic from oh, the, like, West Side wait. Market. Amber, that's been in the fridge no. for, like, so long. No, uh, Amber, maybe that's been in the nor- fridge for, like, over a month. It's actually been, I think, two months. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I was still eating it, and it tastes totally normal. And I think it's, like, because it's, fine. like, roasted garlic, it's fine. If it's not... Guys, don't comment and tell me. Just let me live in delusion, okay? Yeah. Everybody already ate like, it. Just don't even say anything. Say nothing. Everybody loved the freaking mashed potatoes, <laughs> and I'm cooking all day. Yeah. I think um, things that remind me of living at home, I think is just like the vibe of living at home was we would go out and like drive somewhere together because yeah. the suburbs. Like we would drive to the coffee shop but we would drive to target i kind of like driving too. I, like, miss, I, I miss driving i miss filming the car is like so, so funny fun. i yeah. miss filming the car but so like now instead of going out for a drive it's like we go out for a little walk which is different in a lot of ways but it's like still kind of the same thing it's like we're yeah, going it's out fun. it's just colder <laughs> yeah um oh and the actual main thing that reminds me of living at home is that, like, obviously my whole life I've stolen clothes from you because oh, yeah. we're pretty much the same size. Mm-hmm. And so now I get to do it again. Exactly. And it's awesome. Because the whole time I was at college, I had to rely on my own closet, and it was torture. <laughs> but now I have Ashley's gigantic closet again, and it's fire. Yay. Yay. Style upgrade. Oh, my God. This is the thing that Amber and I realized, like, recently because, like I said, we've been going to, like, a few, like, more events here and there, which I feel like... Yeah. Especially in upstate, never go to an event ever upstate. Or like even in California when you're there, I feel like you didn't really go to much either. Although there definitely were some, but they would be in LA and it's like, do you really drive all the way there? Yeah. But we realized like, oh, if we're going to go more events here, sometimes they have like a dress code and then they're like asking you to wear like, like black tie or just like wear like a nice gown or like People are dressing. What? People dress so well in New York that it actually, like, makes me hella insecure about my outfits constantly. Yeah, because people show up like it's the Met Gala. And I'm like, bro, this is, like, mm-hmm. this is not the Met Gala. No, like, have full nails done, full hair done, like, professionally done, like, hairstyles. Yeah. Like, for events or but for, like, parties. Like, and I'm like, what? But also those, like, creator events, they're the type of thing where you walk in for, like, 30 minutes and then leave. I'm like, mm-hmm. and you're dressed like that to come for 30 minutes. I like, how do people yeah. do that? But we realized we got to step up the wardrobe because we don't have gowns like that. And yeah, I didn't realize, realize people were dressing so hard here. Mm-hmm. And everyone wears God. like slick back hair or like, slick back. like 
the Kim Kardashian look where their hair like looks wet or like crazy braids oh or like God. little spiky buns and like it's so cute but I'm like oh my God. No, I'm the, like walking in there like literally in like a sweater and like j- jeans. jeans. I'm like oh. Yeah. <laughs> also the slicked back bun. I have used the slicked back like wax in my hair before and it was the most torturous thing I've ever experienced. It would not come out of your like my hair like even know. remotely. Yeah, I don't know how people do it, and, like, that is the look here, it is, at least. It is the New York City look, like, and the so, clean girl look. You, like, wear a slick back bun, you wear, like, a trench coat or, like, a big, like, bomber-esque, like, bomber. leather jacket. Like, bomber jacket or, like, leather jacket. Like, a big thrifted leather jacket. Little booties. Hmm. Some some type of shoe. The shoe has to, like, clack against the ground. Yeah, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, people just also have just, like, really nice clothes. And just, like, oh, my God, during Fashion Week, I literally am always, like... Like, wow. Imposter syndrome. Lizzie Ariano. Oh, my God. Again, asked, do y'all have specific, oh, my God, specific tasks that y'all do? Example, Amber Trash, Ashley Dishes. No. Um, well, I always vacuum, I think. That's true. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I do a lot of vacuuming. I feel like I also do, well, I do my own laundry. I don't know. You do your own laundry, too. Yeah. We all do our own laundry. I think with, uh, like, picking up the apartment and taking out the trash and doing the dishes, it's kind of just, like, if you see it, you do it. Yeah. I think, specifically, it's easy for us because, like, I won't get mad if, like, things are left out because I'm like, oh, it's just, it's, like, Ashley, whatever. Like, mm-hmm. I, I'm not going to get mad at Ashley for, like, leaving the dish out. Yeah. Um, I don't know why it's, like, different to pick up your trash versus, like, if someone else, like, another roommate were to leave yeah. it, I'd be like... Why do they, why are they like leaving all of their like trash out or like they cooked a bunch of food and just like left stuff out or something? Yeah. But for some reason when it's you, I'm just like it's yeah. like it's like we're like an extension of each other, so I literally like don't mind cleaning it up. It's that womb telepathy. It's the womb from telepathy. When we we're in the womb as twins. Yeah. Um, but I think I've also experienced that same feeling though, living with just one other roommate in college, where I had the same mindset of like, oh, that's just Laura. Like Laura just like left a dish out because I just lived with one, uh, my one friend for a full year. And I think when it's just two people living together, you don't get mad because if you see like trash sitting out, that's obviously not yours. You know immediately who it is instead oh. of having the question of like, which roommate left trash out? And, and then, then that like, makes and then you, you like, think like the other roommates also didn't clean up the trash exactly. that someone else left out. Yeah. yeah then and like, I'm like, there's so many of us. Why can't someone like else do take it? Take out the trash. Like, why am I always the one that takes out the trash? Yeah. I feel yeah. like sometimes in the last house, like love the last house, but also I sometimes would be like, Okay, like if there's like ten people living here, ten why? people living here, like why are why do I come home from a vacation? There's fruit flies everywhere. No, you know for what I mean. Real. And I'm like, I'm gonna literally, yeah, be upset. So <laughs> living with two people is such the vibe in terms of like roommate chores because there's less like mind games of like, oh my god, who did what? what? Mm-hmm. So yeah, we don't have designated tasks. We just kind of do it as we see it. I we both try and clean up after ourselves, obviously for the most part, but. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind cleaning up after Ashley and vice versa. So it's lit. Yeah. I can't find it, but people are asking, do we get annoyed by each other's roommates now that, or, oh my God, by each other's boyfriends oh. now that we are roommates? <laughs> I was like, hold up. What? <laughs> um, I'll start by saying, obviously Kelly lives in our same building. So I'm seeing Kelly every day, mm-hmm. but personally I thought I would be like pissed off all the time. And when we moved into the same <laughs> building, I was like, fuck. <laughs> Because I was well, the one. Okay. No, wait, listen. I'm getting to a good point here. I'm, okay, okay, okay. Um, when we found this apartment, me and Ashley. Yes. We found a two bedroom and we're like, oh my God, it's perfect. Kelly, Luke, and like whoever else were looking for their own apartment mm-hmm. and struggling. And meanwhile, yeah. I'm on Zillow seeing our apartment in this building mm-hmm. and a three bedroom also available in this building. And so one day we like toured an apartment with Kelly just to like see what they were looking at. And it was like the worst ever and so expensive. He was looking at like such ass apartments. It was like, like I'm not even like, yeah, go on. It would be like $15,000 for an apartment that was falling apart. And it's like a three bedroom. So it's like, you're expecting three people. Like people like 70 years ago and like doesn't even have like AC. There's mold. And you're like like, cashing out like checks each month for that. Yeah. Like for that price. Each roommate would be paying $5,000 to live in, like, literally the worst conditions I've ever seen. Yeah. And so we went on that tour with And it would be, like, a walk-up. It would be, like, a fifth floor no, walk-up. Right? Like, crazy. I don't know how New York Some landlords. prices are, like, crazy. That's, the like, w- that is one of the cons of living in New York is that generally, yeah, the rent is, like, insane. For us, I feel like because New York is so central to our jobs and our YouTube channels, it's kind it, of, like, it's an more investment. of an investment. But... If it you're just, like, regularly, like, living in New York, it is a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, we have jobs that, like, pay off our rent because we, like, in film sense, in our apartment. Yeah. And then it, like, the video pays it back. So it's, like, 
technically worth it, but it is still kind of like, damn, like, no, like the it rent feels bad. Crazy. Yeah. Like um, I have like sometimes every once in a while, like a little bit of a crisis where I'm like the rent, I feel like I'm like shilling away like money and I'm just like, oh my God, like I feel like broke from paying the rent. Right. But um, so we went on those tours with Kelly and like, I literally witnessed like Kelly having just like leaving the apartment being like, oh my God, we're never going to find anything. And I literally was like, there's always that three bedroom open in our building. And then Kelly was like, what? And then I was like, oh, <laughs> what did I just do? Like, what? Obviously like the three bedroom open in our building. Obviously you've, you guys have maybe seen their apartment. It is like so nice. It's beautiful really, windows really nice. like ours. It's and also Bella Hadid's old apartment. Yeah. So I'm like, that is a nice apartment. Like, yeah. although we bumped into our neighbor recently and he was like, oh, you guys live in Bella Hadid's old apartment. And I was like, no, it's definitely like the floor above us. And then... He was like, no, I'm pretty sure it's your apartment. So who knows where Bella Hadid lived, but she lived in this building, maybe in our apartment. Mo I think she definitely lived in Kelly's apartment because there's like literally like paparazzi pictures of her in there. I remember the moment where I like told Luke and Kelly that there was a three bedroom open in our building. And mm -hmm. in that moment, I'm like, I've seen how hard they've been searching and like how bad the prices are and like whatever. And I was like, they do yes. deserve a nice apartment. But I'm also like, damn, at the same time, do you want to live with them? I'm like, did I really just invite them to live with us basically? Yeah. And so for a bit, I was like, what did I do? What really? did I do? Well, not really. But I, cause I also realized if Kelly lived like super far away, it's like so annoying. If you guys wanted to visit each other, you probably would be too scared to like leave at night to go see him. So he would actually be coming to our apartment way more often Yeah, that way than if he was just upstairs and like you could go upstairs like mm -hmm. easily in the nighttime. Like it's yeah. not going to be a scary walk for you. So I was like, in a way, I know that it's going to be better if he lives above us, but also like... Who knows what that will be like. Mm -hmm. As soon as we moved in, though, I was like, this is actually lit. Like, okay, good. I, no, <laughs> I thought you were going to say, this is actually ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, like, obviously, I knew in my heart, I was like, this is going to be, like, actually the best living set setup ever. Yeah. But there was also, like, I really just invited Ashley's boyfriend to be our neighbor. Yeah. So I was like, hmm. But it's been fire. Like, Kelly's honestly so funny to hang out with. And, like... It's like having more friends around. Like yeah, we he have, always has things to do. Mm -hmm. And it's like having friends as roommates, but like they don't contribute to like the mess in like the living room and the kitchen. Cause, exactly. Because it's all in their own house. Yeah. And they have like their boy house and then we have our house with the feminine touch. Yeah. And also when we like have get togethers, it's always in their apartment because it's bigger. Uh huh. <laughs> so so it works out, out great. Yeah. Yeah. And I honestly, I've like never had a moment where I've been annoyed at Kelly's since moving here. Like I've oh, anything good. I'm like, wow, I since moving here. Oh my God. What? <laughs> uh, no, I just meant like, no, 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 you're fine. You're fine. I would just visit you every once in a while when you lived in New York city here, like without me. Yeah. And so I would see Kelly like every once in a while. And mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know him that well, whatever. Yeah. But once we live here and we like are hanging out every day, I'm like, damn, Kelly's actually so funny. Like Yay! I had no idea. And like, he's always trying to watch a funny movie. I'm like, hell yeah. What's he's so him? into watching movies, which is like very you. Yeah. Well, I feel I like you and like, your boyfriend. Well, maybe not you, but I feel like your boyfriend also likes watching movies. Yeah. So then because of that, I've gotten used to watching movies. And I think it's just so fun to literally chill and like have fun like that as friends. So I have yeah. really enjoyed having Kelly around TBH. Yay. Yeah. But That's then so epic. There was also um, when we moved in, my boyfriend visited for a month. Yeah. So he stayed for like a while because I was like, if you're flying across the country, stay for a little bit. Mm -hmm. How was that for you, queen? Queen. Queen. I feel like. That was fun. I feel like I was also gone for a portion of the time of that That's because true. I went to Japan so and I would also like do my own thing every day. I think to some extent it is always hard to have guests like come over and like stay in your apartment for a longer period of time. Like I remember in like our past apartments, we literally had to like come up with like a rule of like if you guys have your friends over, they can only stay for like a certain number of days just so that they're not like in oh, your yeah, own like true. personal space just because like this is – this had nothing to do with like you and Pono, you having Pono over, but I'm just like reminiscing on old times where yeah. like we in our old, old apartment, I like would want to like film in the kitchen and stuff. And then like there's a random person I like don't even know, like sleeping on the couch or like in Ugh. the kitchen, like sitting at the table. And like it kind of makes my job hard in a way, which is really weird yeah. for Pono. I don't give a fuck because Pono's nice. And if he's like in the kitchen, I feel like he's so used to us filming. Like he does yeah. not even care. But I think sometimes that could be hard with guests. And I hope you don't ever... Hopefully feel like that if like Kelly's around. I feel like you also don't care about no, filming I don't in front care. of Kelly. But I feel like we're we're pretty much chilling. Yeah. yeah. I think both of our boyfriends are so used to us filming. And also like we're comfortable with each other's boyfriends enough where it's like does not really like phase us to have mm -hmm. them around. Yeah. So on that topic, 
nor having the boyfriends around is not anything that like yeah causes beef between us we're always chilling yeah and it's fun yeah i feel like you guys just like stayed in your room most of the time yeah, so i'm like i didn't like, even like see you yeah it's not but. like cause having our boyfriends over isn't a thing where it's like a random person sleeping on our couch yeah like it was in like some of your past apartments yeah it's like someone that we Enclosed know very well into your own like spaces yeah exactly but um yeah, yeah, So that yeah. is it for our questions about living together. I guess the final thought is that it has been lit. There's really no crazy beefs going on. We'll nope. let you guys know if any beef does develop over the yeah, year we'll of our lease. Yeah, we'll let you guys know. We're very open about talking about our beef. So if any yeah. beef does develop, we will just absolutely chat about it. I'm just kidding. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, but now to finish out the podcast, we have our little segment where we give our song recommendations of the week. Mm-hmm. and or can we just thing- do favorites even like maybe not it doesn't have to be a media recommendation it could also just be like your favorite product even <gasps> favorite thing of the week yeah favorite thing of the week that's actually fire okay i have one this is stupid but actually not stupid at all okay i recently tried out the skin fix moisturizer peptide i was cream. actually gonna say that is mine too damn it's so good yeah it kind it's, of it's like a squeezy one, like kind of like the drunk elephant ones. Yeah, I also the, love the drunk elephant one, but it was cool to we got gifted those ones as PR the skin fix ones, and yeah, they're really the good. The applicator as well. is like you push it down and it like pops out, and it's like ooh, it's like a little toy I get to do my skincare with, and mm-hmm. it literally is so moisturizing. And it makes my feel my skin feel so good. Yeah, that's my favorite of the week. This is kind of a random song, but this is for some reason like my favorite song for the past like three years. It's called Penelope by Pinback, and it's, like, such a, like... Can you, like, hum it for me? You've never heard it, though. Like What? It's, it's like, the most random-ass song. I think I got, like... But how could it be your favorite song for three years and I've never heard it? Because I probably, like, play it in the background, but it's, like, something... It's not, like, a okay, band well, you would know or whatever. give me a hum of it. I'm actually not going to because I don't think it would sound good. But I think <laughs> if you listen to it, then you'll be like, damn, this is pretty good. And the lyrics are really crazy, and it just sounds so good. Okay. And I always forget about it because, like, I don't know any other song by that artist, but it's from, like, 2002, I think. And every time it, like, shuffles into my playlist, I'm like, damn, that is good. Yeah, I think I originally got recommended that through, like, a Spotify, like, playlist radio thing. Whoa. Crazy how that works. That is crazy how that works. Uh, My favorite thing of the week is our extra wide Instax camera. The Polaroid camera. The Polaroid camera. Yeah. Yeah. We have like one that has extra wide film and you guys have always seen that like be on our walls and I was just thinking, yeah, I really like that. Uh, Okay. (laughs) That's crazy. Um, And then I also love the Tower 28. It's like SOS spray in a red bottle. I actually don't really know if it's... I think it's helping my skin, but I just like it. Like after you do work, you're like... And it's supposed to like kill all the bacteria on your face. What? So it's like face hand sanitizer? You can put it that way. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, but Tower 28 is also Asian-owned brand. So I like their moisturizer yeah. too. Mm-hmm. So Damn. that is one of my favorite things. Uh, I also love matcha every day. <laughs> um, I love eating matcha snacks. And I love having matcha tea. That's I love anything real. that's green or adorable. So true, babes. Yeah, pretty much. So true, baby. Do you like that? No, I vomited in my mouth. Okay, baby. Uh, what's your favorite <laughs> thing about yourself this week, baby? Because this podcast, we're all about uplifting ourselves and not being ashamed of calling ourselves beautiful. Yeah. Um, this week, I am proud of myself for having a good makeup routine. <laughs> That's real. (laughs) Yeah. Like, actually, I'm like, I have been recently putting more like highlight on my inner corners and on the tip of my nose. I have been using the Makeup Forever, I think, Starlight or Starlit powder. It's like an eyeshadow powder in shade 13. And it is like the most luminescent pigmented powder ever. If you like put a little bit on your nose, it makes like your nose look so like pointy and like bing, like Rudolph. And I also put on my inner corners. And I've been loving my makeup routine. I also love Ilya's like liquid eyeshadow True. and the fenty like crayon eyeshadow stuff is so good that's been my and the tart eyeliner and oh. tart tubing mascara so that's pretty much my full makeup routine i've been yeah. loving it recently the makeup promo is real yeah i actually Free went to promo off. for them mm-hmm. um, please sponsor me <laughs> literally um my favorite thing about myself this week kind of on a similar note i don't know why i've just like been better at doing my skincare and literally just seeing how my skin has like looked and felt better i'm like damn go me that's great 
Love that. So we're just feeling beautiful, really, this yeah, week. Yeah, feeling the external beauty this week for real. Wow. Gotta Hopefully one day we'll feel the internal beauty. I feel both. Do you feel both? I do feel both. But this week I'm specifically feeling externally beautiful. Oh, same. We love that. Actually, yeah. internally I'm struggling a little bit. Huh? I'm not gonna lie. Let's get into that next episode. Yeah. I'm Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave you guys on that note. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to this week's podcast. It's been so much fun. We consider you guys our third besties. roommate. Yeah, our, our third roommate. You guys our, are also our sisters. Uh, we were considering maybe starting the podcast with, hey, sisters. <laughs> yeah. Because apparently James Charles retired the sisters. Yeah. And so, James Charles is from like our hometown. Yeah. So. So I think that we have every right to steal sisters from him. Yeah, so... Because we're hometown homies. James, let us do this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We don't know him at all. <laughs> but let us take your old slogan, please. please. Or BTS, let us take ARMY because we are the beautiful twin sisters. BTS. BTS ARMY. Yeah, what do you guys like better? Let us know. Comment it on the Instagram. We could be the sisters ARMY. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we, okay, somebody needs to comment and like literally give us some direction. Yeah, we, we like, don't know. We like need ideas right we now. We should not be in control of this ourselves. No, like, just like how, who is even like controlling this podcast? Like how, why are we even talking here? Yeah, because I think the same way that the guy on the street gave us beautiful twin sisters. Yeah. Like we need somebody else to we, give us the like <laughs> fandom name because we need some guidance yeah, right now. We don't come up with these things on our own. Yeah. Someone on the street has to yell them to us. Exactly. And that's you guys. So anyways, leave us some comments. Thank you guys so much for watching mm -hmm. and we'll see you guys next week for another episode. Yes. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. You. Bye. Twin oh. sisters. Out. Out. <laughs> oh, my. Beautiful twin sisters. 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 Beautiful twin sisters.